Hello there, I'm Jonathan, and today I'm going to very quickly show you, step by step, how to set up your Lightner electronic cook switch for Yealink phones, giving you call control on your Lightner wireless headset. All right, let's go ahead and start by covering the things you're going to need for this setup. We're of course going to need the Lightner headset itself. I have mine plugged into power, as you can tell by my blue focus light here. You'll need your Yealink phone, of course, and then you're of course going to need the Yealink hook switch that we're going to be connecting. Once you've got those things, let's dive in and get started. Okay, friends, we're going to start on the Yealink end of things. First, I'd like to go ahead and take the receiver off and set it to the side, just makes things easier on you. And then we're going to take the USB end of your hook switch and plug that into the back of the Yealink phone. So flip your Yealink phone around to the back and look for any available USB ports. Some will have multiple ports. If you do have multiple ports, then prioritize the USB port that's gonna be down here by your other cords. That's where you'd plug in. In my case, I just have one up on the screen here. So that's the one that we're going to plug into. Voila. Now let's head over to the Lightner or the Lightner end of things. What we're gonna do first is take the headset off your charging base, set it to the side out of your way, and then we're gonna to go to the back of the base here and unplug the power cord if you have that plugged in like I do. Normally that runs away from me, but it didn't this time, so huzzah. Now flip your Lightner base over to the bottom, and on the bottom here, you're gonna see a switch on the left that goes between DHSG and RHL. We want that one set all the way up to DHSG toward the top. Now up here, we have a slider that goes from one to six. We want that one set all the way to the left on one. Now that we've done that, let's go to the ports on the back of the base. You're gonna take the other end of the hook switch. It has two cords here. We're gonna take the thicker cord and we're gonna plug that into the silver AUX port in the middle of the base. Next to that, we have our tell port, and that's where we're gonna plug in the smaller cord here. This is the one that transfers your audio. Once we've done that, you're all set for the hook switch itself. We just need to plug your base back into power, like so. Make sure to set your headset back on the base. And for most of you, you'll be done at this point. But there may be some of you that need to go one step further with your IT department. In some cases, you'll need to activate some settings on the Yealink web portal. So go to your IT team and have them activate that for you. And for your convenience, you will find a link in the description below this video on the set of article that they will need for that portion. Alrighty friends, there you have it. You should now be able to answer and hang up calls directly from your Lightner wireless headset. But of course, if you have any other questions or you need any other help at all, always feel free to give us a call at 1-800-HEADSETS, where any one of our headset advisors would be more than happy to help you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ta-ta.